Hello everyone, I'm Ashwin and you're watching Ashwin Academy. In our last video, we learned about introduction to waves. And today, we'll continue with wave equation for a progressive wave. If you like my video, please click on the thumbs up button. Do comment, do share and don't forget to subscribe as I'll be posting more new videos so that you'll get notified. So, what is a progressive wave? A wave which travels continuously in a medium in the same direction without the change in its amplitude is called a traveling wave or a progressive wave. If during the propagation of a progressive wave the particles of the medium perform simple harmonic motion about their mean position, then the waves is known as a harmonic progressive wave. A progressive wave may be transverse or a longitudinal in nature. Equation for wave motion. This is a plain simple harmonic wave which travels from origin O along the positive direction of x axis. Here in y axis we have displacement and in x axis we have time. This is the direction of wave propagation and V is the wave velocity. The displacement of a particle at O and at any time t is given by y equals to a sin omega t. Now let us consider another particle p which is at a distance x from the origin. If phi is the phase lag of the particle at point p with respect to that at point O, then displacement of particle at point p at any time t is given by y equals to a sin omega t minus phi. Since for a distance lambda, phase changes by 2 pi, then the change in phase for a distance x will be phase difference equals to 2 pi by lambda into path difference. That is, phi equals to 2 pi by lambda into x. Therefore, equation 2 becomes y equals to a sin omega t minus 2 pi by lambda into x. Here, in place of phi, we have replaced the value of phi, that is 2 pi by lambda into x. We know that omega equals to 2 pi f. Then, y equals to a sin 2 pi f into t minus 2 pi by lambda into x. Since f equals to v by lambda, we get y equals to a sin 2 pi v by lambda into t minus 2 pi by lambda into x. Therefore, taking 2 pi by lambda common, we get y equals to a sin 2 pi by lambda into vt minus x. This is equation of a plain progressive simple harmonic wave traveling along positive x-axis. If the wave is traveling along negative x-axis, the equation becomes y equals to a sin 2 pi by lambda into vt plus x. Using the equation of a plane progressive simple harmonic wave, we can find the differential equation of a wave motion and the velocity of a progressive wave in a medium. Differentiating equation 4 with respect to t, we get dy by dt equals to a cos 2 pi by lambda vt minus x into 2 pi by lambda into v. In this equation, I have just replaced these two terms in front. Differentiating equation 6 with respect to t, that is the double differentiation of the equation 4, we get d square y by dt square equals to minus 4 pi square by lambda square into v square into a into sine 2 pi by lambda into vt minus x. Since y equals to a sine 2 pi by lambda into vt minus x, we can rewrite the above equation as d square y by dt square equals to minus 4 pi square by lambda square into v square into y. Here, in this equation, I have just replaced the above two terms. Now, differentiating equation 4 with respect to x, we get dy by dx equals to a cos 2 pi by lambda into vt minus x into 2 pi by lambda into minus 1. In this equation, I have just multiplied the equation with minus 1. Differentiating equation 8 with respect to x is same as the double differentiation of equation 4 with respect to x. Here we get d square y by dx square equals to 4 pi square by lambda square into a into sine 2 pi by lambda into vt minus x into minus 1. Since y equals to a sine 2 pi by lambda into vt minus x, we get d square y by dx square equals to minus 4 pi square by lambda square into y. From equation 7 and 9, d square y by dt square equals to v square into d square y by dx square. The above equation is the general differential equation of wave motion or the velocity of progressive wave in a medium. 
Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please click on the thumbs up button. Do comment, do share and don't forget to subscribe as I'll be posting more new videos so that you'll get notified.